Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna tackle some things on my monthly to-do list. These are things that you're not necessarily going to clean every day, but at least once a month you need to get in there and get them straightened up and clean and tidy. The first thing I like to do monthly is clean my dishwasher. Um, I get my solution that I just showed you guys from Amazon and it is a monthly cleaner. I know they have some other ones that are every three months or so, but for this one you just sprinkle it on the bottom. Those two blue dots on the bottom of my dishwasher, I'm a complete hot mess. That is plastic that has melted on there. So I'm just going to run it on a normal setting and then I will make my way over to the washing machine. So the cleaner that my washing machine suggested is this one and um, this one is actually every three months you want to do it. So it is about time that I do it. Sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. But for this cleaner, you're gonna take the tablet and just throw it in and it actually has a setting on my washing machine for the cleaner. So I just press that and you'll see me do that in just a moment. Um, you wanna make sure that you find a cleaner that works with your washer, um, and then for my dryer, I didn't do that this day, but typically I make sure I always clean out the lint trap, but I will go in there and vacuum out that lint trap once every so often, um, probably not once a month, maybe a couple times a year, just so I get all of the stuff, I make sure everything is out of it. And you see my washer had that setting on it for the, this cleaning cycle. Next, as you can see, I'm making my way over to my sofa. Um, once a month, it is I need to, and sometimes I don't always, um, I need to vacuum underneath it. Like take the cushions off and vacuum it. I'm also gonna go and like spot clean it. My cushions do zip off, but they're never that dirty. I typically spot clean and spill something as it happens, but sometimes I'm human, I forget. So after I take all the cushions off and I um, vacuum underneath where the cushions are, it wasn't actually too bad. It's just dirt and dust and just crumbs um, that happen. We are four people, we live in our house and things happen. So I'm just gonna vacuum underneath there. And I want to tell you guys a funny story. When we first got this couch, I thought that thing was a snake the first time I took it off to vacuum. And I like flipped out. I screamed. My son came downstairs because it was just me and the kids at home. And clearly it was not a snake. I think it's like the handle that was on there that the guys used to bring in the sofa and put it together or whatever it is but it's still there but now I'm not scared and I know it's not a snake it was terrifying it looked like a snake's skin I don't know I've never had a snake in my house but you never know I was so scared back on and then I vacuum again just and I like to rotate the cushions so as I was taking them off certain areas of your couch get more wear on it than the other parts and I try to move the cushions around there's only two cushions on the couch that have to go in their same spots that's this big one and then the other one on the other side of the big old L but um, besides that, all the other cushions I move about and the cushions in the back so that they get an equal amount of wear. And I also will flip them to the other side. But if you guys made it this far in the video, I guess I should introduce myself if you are new to my channel. Hi, my name is Dream. I live in Southern California with my husband and our two children. I have a son named Dominic and I have a daughter named Brooklyn. I am a working mom and I actually will, will be returning back to work very soon. I work at a school and um, yes, I start love making cleaning motivation. Um, I love making decor videos. There's going to be a ton of decor for fall coming up and I just love making my home nice and clean and tidy and cozy for me and my family. 
So if you love that kind of homemaking content, please don't hesitate to join my channel and I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. This sofa is actually the easiest sofa ever. You just go in and just a little water, a damp cloth, I just wipe off. That's probably was like cream cheese or something because we are, we're, we're just living, we really live in our house. So things happen. So yeah, that's probably just cream cheese, but you just go in and you scrub it and it'll dry. I just let it air dry and it will be just like brand new. But that is it. Couch is perfectly cleaned, vacuum off, and ready for me to put the cushions back on. So now as you can see we are cleaning out the freezer and I am just using my vinegar and water and a little of lemon essential oils in a spray amber spray bottle to clean. I want you guys to let me know down in the comments below when was the last time you cleaned out your freezer. Um, I try to at least go through every month but like I said I'm human sometimes I skip several months which I did before this video. So it was pretty crusty and there was a lot of stuff that had fallen through and fallen on the back shelf. Um, after that, I'm also going to clean out the vents underneath my refrigerator. I like to vacuum those out and then just hit them with a wet or damp cloth just to get all of the dirt and debris from those as well. of the refrigerator and it was so yucky and I try to at least get up here to wipe it off once a month but since we've been stuck indoors I I know that I haven't done it since we've been stuck indoors maybe before we got um, all of this stuff hit and we were in the house most of the day but I'm gonna show you the rag it was so gross and I am throwing that into the laundry room so it can get washed but um, lastly, I am going to clean out the trash can. And it was just gross. This is probably one of my least favorite jobs, but I just took some dish soap, I went outside, I took a sponge that, that's another thing too, make sure you're throwing out and your sponges at least once a month. This is one that was on its way out. So I was, I took this opportunity to use it to scrub the trash can. Granted, the trash can didn't have any mold or anything disgusting like that in it. Just a little bit of crumbs. When we have spills and stuff, we try to clean it up right away. But my son, it is his responsibility to do the trash and sometimes he doesn't always clean up the spills. So yes, I am going in, I'm outside, I'm just rinsing, rinsing it off and then I will leave it outside to dry while I tackle the metal part of the trash can. Um, but yeah, it was just gross and disgusting. The metal part, it has like little crevices and it had dust in it and I did not want to 
use my regu regular vacuum cleaner for that. So I use the shock vac in the garage, so that's why I'm in the garage. And I use that and I vacuum all of that little, the crumbs and stuff out. And then I'm gonna go in with my vinegar and water and mix with the little essential oils that the lemon and I'm going to spray everything down and just give everything a good wipe down and I promise you at the end it's going to look so much better than it currently does. My trash can has a little bit of rust on it. You can't see it when you look on the outside of the trash can but there's a little bit of rust on the inside. We got this from Home Goods. I think it was like 80 bucks or something, maybe 90. These trash cans are so expensive. It's because they're, they're metal, I don't know, but it does have some rust spots. But I am done with that. I'm showing you guys the finished product of the um, freezer. It looks so much better, so much tidier, so much cleaner, and then I'll show you the finished product of the trash can and then me actually putting the trash bag in the trash can, which I never do if I'm being honest because my son, that is his chore. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it gave you motivation and some ideas of spots that you have not cleaned in your house for a while to just jump in there and start to tackle them. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.